Hey guys, uh, the first one that I did in the video when the title appeared was just with a coin, and uh, this is how you do it, right? You wave in front, first time, second time go like this, and make it, make, make sure you're bending your fingers like that. On the third one, you're gonna go, I'll do it from the side so you can see it. When I go across, I hit it, I tap the coin so it flies back here, and I can easily pull it away as such, and then I can just show my hands empty, like that, when really it's right under here. Alright, and if you're doing this inside, uh, a lot of people just flick it right off the table, or you can go like that and just drag it back and off the table, but uh, yeah, I've actually done this in real life and it's really, really good, it's not just a camera trick. Alright okay, guys, uh, the next trick was the invisible coin, and all you need is, well, what I used was a half dollar, because most people don't see half dollars except for in Nevada and I think maybe New York. I don't know if that's sure right, uh, that's right or not. But uh, only two states in the U.S. use half dollars the most because uh, in blackjack they gamble with them. And um, yeah, okay. So I have got a half dollar that I got in Nevada, but I'm sure you can get it at a bank. And uh, all you do is to start off with palm the, uh, the half dollar in your left hand as such, and have it hanging at your side, like that. Now, okay, with your right hand, you can either, you can gesture and do whatever, ask them for the uh, invisible coin in their pocket, and if they, they're fast uh, mentally, they will uh, get the joke and they'll just be like, oh yeah, here, it's right here. But if they're a little bit slow, then you can say that you have one also, and just take it out of your pocket. Now, make sure that you show this hand completely empty, right, because uh, it, uh, takes away the suspicion that it's palmed if they completely see your hand. Uh, so you say, yeah, look, see I have this invisible coin right here. Now what you're going to do is, this uh, coin is still palmed from this angle. You're going to go and grab right here and do like a reverse French drop. Or it's kind of like a French drop. You're basically just going to drop the coin right in here as you go to grab. So I go right here, grab, and I drop the coin right here, even though it's invisible from the front. And now as I grab it, I pull this hand away and I look at this hand because if I'm looking at this hand they're going to look there also and they'll see the coin. I look in this hand and I say look, if I just throw it up in the air like that and what I did is from here, from having the coin just resting in my fingers, I just went up and slid the coin out and made it look like I pulled it from the middle of the air. And uh, that's that. And don't do it with a penny because that looks retarded. So this is the third time I'm filming this. Uh, I just screwed up twice. The first time uh, I ran out of memory, and the second time I it wasn't loud enough for me to clearly hear, and I my shoulder blocked a little bit. But okay, so this bill has a couple of folds in it that are really obvious right now. Okay, I'm gonna re repeat everything I said. Um, okay, like I said, you can use any dollar. Uh, I just didn't have a one dollar bill, so I used a twenty in the video, and. Uh, you can use any pen, but I don't recommend the ones with this little gel tip right here because it can get caught when you're putting it uh, in the dollar later. This little part will get caught on the bill. So I, I recommend just using like a normal uh, Bic pen. And if you're going to want to pull the pen, like when you put the pen in, if you want to pull it all the way through, then take off the cap. Right? Okay, so the first part is pretty self-explanatory. Fold it in half uh, hot dog style. Wow, how did I fold this before? Okay, uh, yeah, like this. Hot dog style. And, uh, you're gonna wanna crease it. Then, okay. Second part, I hope you can hear this. Uh, from, uh, you're gonna fold the right side up to the top. So it's about, this part right here is halfway down the bill. Uh, it, it doesn't need to be exact, but, uh, just like that, you're gonna crease it. So there's a centimeter on top, and it's a right angle right here. Now, uh, what you're going to do is fold it in half, hamburger style. So from the front, you can still see this uh, the back part right here. Fold up like that, and uh, you don't need to crease this part, because it might make it a bit hard. But now all you're going to do is push in with this thumb right here. You're going to push in this little segment right here, and squeeze with your left uh, right here. Now this bottom part right here is going to be a bit messy and like big, but from the front they can't tell. 
it just looks like I folded the bill. And okay, now all you're going to need to do oops, uh, is put the pen right in here and uh, you're going to squeeze right here with the thumb and the index finger from the front making sure not to flash too much like this because then they can see this little gap right here and it looks weird so uh, making sure that that's level with their eye now what you're going to want to do is with this pinky in the front you're going to put your pinky right here and push the pen right by there so you're creasing the bill as you do that this one part right here is uh, completely compressed and you're going to push that uh, through right there so from the front it looks as though I just shoved the pen through the bill as in the video and uh, like I said you can either pull it out this way or you can pull it all the way through like that and now to unfold the bill and show that there's no hole, um, you're going to take your left hand, which was previously like this, you just pulled the bill out, hold it with your right hand, with your left hand, you're going to grab this tip with your full index finger, right here, and as you pull apart with your thumb, right, you're going to cover up that area, just for the uh, beginning part, and then you're going to pull like this, in this bill you can still see the crease, but in most you won't. It's just because I've done this three times with the same bill. And uh, so you're going to pull like that and bend it a little bit. Then you're going to flip it over and go like that again. And show that there's no hole in the bill whatsoever. And that's that. It's impromptu and I do it all the time. Okay, now it's a coin matrix, right? Four quarters, no extra quarters, just these and four cards. I had aces because I used them in the other trick, but uh, really it doesn't matter what cards you use. Okay, now this is the new uh, new version I just saw on uh, magicvideodepot.com and uh, I thought it was a bit different and I liked it more because it's easier to handle. But um, Okay, so here's the four coins. You stack up the four cards like this and um, have it in biddle grip just like this or you can have it hold it on the side like that and you're gonna take each coin the first one you're gonna just grab right here and you're gonna grab the bottom card with the coin and keep the coin right here on the side alright so as I lay it down like that I could easily just go like this and pull and make it look like there's no coin there or no I'm just pinching it on the side so that's the first one right second one go like this same exact thing Okay, now's the third one. This one's uh, not the same as the other two. As you go to put it underneath, you're just going to steal out with your middle finger as you take the card, just like that, and make it look like you're putting it down, just like, um, like normal. And then for the last one, you can just set it down, like that. So now I have two coins under that one, one coin under each of these on the far right side, and no coin under that one. Okay, for the first one, all you do, push down, uh, if you're on a like velvet surface like this, so you can, uh, you can pinch the coin really easily, and pull these two cards away. For the spectator, it'll look like the coin from here just went to here. Now, as you set this one down with the coin, uh, if you realize now you have three coins under here, but they don't know that. They think you still have two. Show the card empty. Now, the second one, pull. There's three and none here. They think that one transported. Put this coin back on top right here also. Now for the last one, you can do whatever finale one you want. It doesn't really matter. Pull away and show that all four coins are just transported over to here. And spectators aren't going to have any clue how you did it.